Let's get the latest now on that historic agreement to freeze Iran's nuclear program. Greeted by cheers in Iran, jeers in Israel, and drawing tough questions from Congress. ABC's chief foreign correspondent Terry Moran is covering it all from London. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. Well, European officials are already saying that sanctions against Iran could be lifted as early as December, and the Iranians are saying they're ready to begin the next round of talks today, right now. But in the U.S. Congress and among some key allies, there's a lot of skepticism. In Tehran, they love this deal. Crowds gathering in the middle of the night to welcome home their negotiators from Geneva like conquering heroes. In the Congress, not so much. Now is just not the time to ease sanctions when they are working. The debate over the deal cut early Sunday morning in Geneva is roiling all around the world today. The basic terms of the accord, Iran agreed to freeze its nuclear program and allow daily monitoring of key facilities by international inspectors. In exchange, the U.S. and allies agreed to ease some economic sanctions, about $7 billion worth, but leave most others still in force. And the whole deal is temporary, six months, while negotiators hammer out a final agreement if they can. Israel, threatened with destruction by Iran, hates this deal. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a clear warning that he is willing to act alone if necessary. We will not allow Iran to have a nuclear weapons capability. And congressional critics, Democrats and Republicans, are preparing new sanctions. But in the middle of all the uproar, President Obama seems willing to take a gamble for peace. Today we have a real opportunity to achieve a comprehensive, peaceful settlement. And I believe we must test it. One more revelation this weekend. It turns out there have been months of top secret direct talks between U.S. and Iranian officials unprecedented for decades. Five meetings in all in Oman, in the Gulf and elsewhere. Proof, George, of just what an incredible gamble and a high stakes one this has been for President Obama and his team. And for both sides, Terry Moran, we also know that the Iranian president was under great pressure to reach this deal as well. But what are the thoughts on whether this can really need, lead to a new relationship between the United States and Iran? You know, that is the talk in the Middle East and around the world in diplomatic circles today. The Israeli media is full of worry about just that. Is this a new Middle East? If Iran, if it abides by this deal, is no longer a pariah state, could they be a U.S. partner? That's got Israel worried. That is a long way off, but that's what the stakes are here. Okay, Terry Moran, thanks very much.